download this awesome app called SUS Inspector. It allows you to download macOS Big Sur, Catalina, macOS Mojave, High Sierra, any of them, right? So all of the updates are in here. I'm going to show you how to set this up so that it shows you Big Sur Seed. And let's go download it now. We're going to open up Safari. We're going to head to this GitHub page. All these links are down in the description. So we're going to head over to Hans's GitHub page and scroll down to the releases page. And then SUS Inspector, we're going to click the little arrow, little triangle next to Assets, and click the Download. Once we have it, we're going to open it up. Drag that guy over to our Applications folder. I'm going to replace the one that I have. Oh, can't because it's in use. Let's quit. place so I have the exact same one that you just downloaded next thing I need to do is I need to basically wipe it out so that I start fresh so I'm gonna remove these files you're gonna to want to make note of this command by opening up the terminal command spacebar typing in terminal hit return will open it up and if you type in this command it'll get rid of the files that are required for SUS Inspector. So I'm going to remove them, open up SUS Inspector, click OK, and here we go. One sec. All right, so when it first opens up, it's going to ask you to basically select the catalogs. Once this is set, you have to go back and run that command that I just did in the terminal to wipe it out in order to get this page to show up again. This is the only way to get this to come up again, so just mark down that command. So what I have found is that if I just select Big Sur, it basically covers all the way down to High Sierra. I did notice that it had a Sierra installer in there. It was like a security update, but you can get everything for High Sierra, Mojave, Catalina and Big Sur. What I want to do is I want to turn this into the seed uh, catalog. So I'm going to go right here before the 1016. I'm going to type in 10.16 seed. And if I didn't add the D on the end, what you're going to notice is it's going to be red because it's going to be invalid, right? It's an invalid URL. So I'm going to go finish the seed add the D. Alright, so you're going to add 10.16 seed and then dash. And we're going to see that it is green now. And I'm going to type in seed there just so I have it as seed. Click save. It is going to refresh my catalogs and build them out. What you're going to want to note is that if you haven't booted up the app in a while, come up here down to refresh catalogs so that you get the latest and greatest information about what's available for updates. Once this finishes building out, I'm going to show you that just by having the Big Sur Seed catalog, I'm able to find Big Sur Mac OS, Catalina Mac OS, Mojave Mac OS, High Sierra Mac OS. I can download any of them very quickly and we're going to run through that as well. So this is almost done building out. Just let it go. There it is. Nope. Oh. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so now we've got the Big Sur seed. You're going to notice that I have the Mac OS Big Sur Beta 11.3 in here. I can go download that. If I were to double click on this, I go over to Packages. And what you're going to see in here is this Install Assistant. This is what I want to click to download and to pull down the package. When I download this, 
I'm going to install this and this is going to place that Big Sur installer into my applications folder. But I want to show you a couple other things. So if I go over here and I just click on Safari and let's say I want to download this version of Safari here. I can click here and it will have the download of that actual package. So that is the High Sierra package. You'll be able to download any one of these. So if you need to reset your Big Sur seed catalog, make sure you run that previous command. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to download this Big Sur beta. Double click on this guy. Click on packages. I'm going to click downloading. Uh, if I go back to terminal, I'm going to go over to this other tab I have. This is an awesome command that will show you exactly how much of this is being downloaded because if I click on here, all it says is downloading. It's a huge file. It's going to take a long time. So I know that it's going to take a long time. So if you open up this terminal, type this in, click go, it's going to show me exactly in real time how much data is actually being downloaded. Let's fast forward through this download and get to the end so we can wrap up some of these other steps. All right, so now you can see that it says reveal came in a little bit under. Kind of surprising that it's showing 11 gigs versus 12 gigs. But just to show you that if you scroll down, you can see that you can get Catalina. Scroll even further down, you can get Mojave and High Sierra, I believe, as well. You can search up here. All right, so let's go back to where it says reveal, click on reveal. We're gonna see that we have this install assistant and this is going to allow us to install it directly into our application folder. So I'm just gonna run this, click continue, install, thank you touch ID, making it easy. All right, so now let's go into the applications folder and you're going to see that I have a brand new install Mac OS Big Sur beta in my application folder for me to use. All right, so the next video you got to go check out is how to create a bootable USB installer with this Big Sur download that we just downloaded. So go check that video out. Hopefully you guys are subscribed and you guys have an amazing day. Take care.